What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and in this video we are going to check out some wild clips of the craziest couples I can find, and like always my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end to find it, but in this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically we have these group of girls, and I guess this guy is interviewing them, and asked them a question, do women usually cheat during the bachelorette parties, and they started laughing immediately because well, they actually know a friend who did this, and is still doing this. There's literally nothing to be laughing about, this is absolutely embarrassing. Do you think the bride to be is cheating on her husband at the bachelorette party? I mean I personally would it, but I think the bride to be does. I think you guys know somebody that did this. Keep it real. <laughs> Our friend Jenna. Your friend Jenna? Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jenna cheated on her husband? Yeah. She guys should like last night. Last night? <laughs> yeah. How many times? Like multiple. Normalize cheating on men who deserve to be cheated on. Oh, you thought I was loyal because you gave me a few roses and asked me to be your girlfriend? She belongs to the streets. In this next one, I guess this guy goes over why he hates taking women on dates. And this woman casually admits that she takes a bunch of men on dates because she just wants free food. There's been literally months where she hasn't bought any food due to the fact that men are always buying her things. This should be kind of illegal. I don't know why there's no laws for this. Men are getting free meals with guys that they're not even interested in. Oh yeah, Or have no. no attraction to. When I when I was dating, there was probably like, I mean, in my group girl chat, like, Probably a good solid three weeks where I didn't have to spend any money on groceries or food because I had a date and I knew that nothing was going to happen. I just knew that I was getting a free meal out of it. Seven figure men do go for me. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'm telling you in real life and reality, not delusion, reality. I date seven figure men. I date six figure men. Summer, I was hooking up with like four people a day, a couple times a week, and they were all like different people. The problem with winter is that I can't do that as much. I'm trying to focus on school, and hooking up with people takes a lot of time, but I definitely miss it. And this next one, this guy pretty much exposed these two feminists. I guess they're super crazy about overweight women. However, he kind of exposed their hypocrisy by showing them an overweight man, saying, yo, what do you rate them? They immediately said, ew. However, when you show them an overweight woman, saying, yo, is she obese? They got like a shocked face on their look, saying, oh my god, how could you say that she's literally gorgeous since when is being super unhealthy gorgeous like that's absolutely stupid i want you guys to rate pictures of people out of 10 all right so there's this guy first oh my god he's he's negative crushing. one million okay what about this girl she's a 10 she's pretty she's, she's a 10 out of 10 all right what about this girl i think he's a five all right what about this girl she's a seven, she's a seven. what about this girl uh she's a five He's a three. Wait, so this guy's a three, but this girl is a ten? Yes, she's literally gorgeous. What do you mean? She's majestic. But she's yeah, obese, like... though. Well, she is. I know you're not talking looking like a whole and humpy dumpty. Do you think I'm fat? Yes, you look like it. Oh, baby. Where, where's <laughs> that fat? Like where's that fat at? I'm not body shaming. Isn't it a fact that she's obese? She's not obese. She's gorgeous. What do you mean? She's literally more gorgeous than you. But isn't it a fact that she's obese though? Yeah, but she's gorgeous. Okay, it doesn't matter if she's over like big. She's literally gorgeous. Why are you like pointing out the fact that she's fat? Literally no one cares. I don't care. She's literally gorgeous. Because isn't fat unattractive? We pointing out. No. No? Then why did you write this fat guy negative 10? Because... Oh my god, just shut the f*** up, you little white head sharing. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that you and Daniel. I don't look pretty? No. Why not? Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, boy, no, I don't. You don't, <laughs> you don't know what year it is. <laughs> we can't assume that. In this next one, we have this guy. Everybody knows who he is. He's exposing this woman because, well, she has three kids, and I guess she's asking for a crazy man who has a lot of money, who's willing to take care of her, and she's not willing to give him all of her time. And it's women like these that have such high expectations that end up staying single their entire lives because, well, they just keep waiting for a man that never comes. You want a top earner to accept a divorcee with three kids. He gets no children from you, and all he gets is the re part of your free time for 100% of his monogamy. Does that sound like a fair deal? Yes. In fucking sane. No. Buy a dog and die alone because you keep talking about someone and we already established we weren't going to do that. But see, that's your ego. Would you guys say 500k right now to never speak again? No. Never a million years. Really? Nah. I don't need money for that like, happiness and so money is not where it's at, man. Take 501,000. Talking millions and then she's going, mate. <laughs> In 
And this next one, this woman should honestly be thankful for this Planet Fitness guy. Basically, I guess she was called into a room at Planet Fitness because she smells so badly that a lot of members ended up saying that she just smells. And I guess one of the employees ended up telling her that. And now she's crying, saying, well, of course, I'm at the gym. I'm going to smell. Now, to be honest, guys, I've go to the gym a lot and nobody really smells. So if you do smell, just take a shower, then come to the gym. Unless you've been there for like seven hours straight. Like there's no reason for you to really stink that badly to the point where people actually have to bring it up. I just left Planet Fitness and then this like male employee came up to me and he like pulled me into like one of the rooms. It wasn't obviously like there's no private rooms in Planet Fitness. And he was like, oh, you know, several members have complaints to managers about the way you smell. I'm like, I'm at the gym. He's like, I know, I know, it's it's not me. It's and, and, and I just, you know, people have already complained to the managers. So I, the managers told me to tell you. I'm like, what am I, am I, again, am I supposed to not be stinky, like, at the gym? And I'm just so confused because I thought Planet Fitness was no judgment. So I'm just very confused about how one is supposed to spend almost two hours at the gym and not be stinky. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. What is your craziest university confession? In first year, I think my flatmate's bum hole. In this next one, we have all these girls. I guess this woman is exposing how women don't understand how money is made, clearly, and don't understand how much money is worth. These women are saying that they want men that make one to two million dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, and guys, I'm just gonna bring it up. Nobody going to college is gonna make two million dollars a year, unless they own their own franchise down the line, like when they're 40 or something. But like I said, they're clearly just making numbers in their head, and this has to do with their ego. I guess they think they're worth much more than reality. Okay, three figures. Okay, so why is that? Just cause like, that's a stable income I'd say. My date showed up with her best friend. They ordered the most expensive food and drinks. I said I had to use the bathroom. I hope daddy's credit card works. And this next we have these women, I guess, obviously they're feminists and this guy's asking them simple questions like, do you want a man who is dominant or like takes the lead and is in charge? And I guess they got super offended by this. And then he ends up bringing up like weight classes, like skinny and fat. And like I said, I guess they got super offended by this as well for obvious reasons. What makes a high value woman? Having brains and not listening to men. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'd say that makes a low value woman to- We don't need to listen, you to, don't men. listen to men. You know, what do we need to listen to men for? An open-minded person. Do you like, do you, are you attracted to a, a man who can show leadership? I don't want to be with a man who's controlling and telling me what to do. I want to be able to live my own life. You Only know? controlling in the bedroom. Well, she said, <laughs> I'm with that. Would you say that on average, uh, men find overweight women less attractive? It depends what it their depends, fetishes yeah. are. <laughs> on average? I'd say that people would rather date someone who's skinny and fits in with standard norms of what society wants people to look like keep telling yourself that darling i don't think it's just society though i think there's also a, a nature element to it as opposed to nurture now if i remember the clip on the list guys basically we have this model i guess she's exposing the guy from maroon 5 for cheating on his girl for, i guess of eight years she even brings up text messages and i'm like damn but i guess men like him do not care he'll pull anybody i'm just gonna rip the band-aid off because i've retaken this like 10 times now essentially I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. Maroon 5 is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um, <laughs> I was like... I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell. <laughs> well, that does it, you guys. So much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.